Manipal Academy of Higher Education started postgraduate certificate course in Siddha Varnam therapy. 107 marma points are described by Shushrusha which are the vital energy points in the body. If the points are triggered or damaged during surgery or trauma, that leads to a disease or death. So, marma, mar mean the death. So, the points are dangerous are called marma points. Rig Veda was believed as the first Indian literature that acknowledged the existence of traditional Siddha medicine. Shiva, who is the lord or father of traditional Siddha medicine, as a great physician. Shiva was cited in the Rig Veda. Pre Vedic Maharishi Agastya, he authored Rig Veda. His drug, Agastya Rasayanam, was cited in Charaka Samhita is the oldest literature. He described 1008 vital points in the body. 120 traditional Siddha medicine literature available in Tamil exclusively describing 1008 Varma points. And all this literature called the vital point as a Varma point. Varma, the term derived from the terminology Varma. Varma means taking revenge. Varma means reflexology. The Siddha Varma therapy or simply Varma therapy or the medical Varmology is a branch of traditional Siddha medicine that deals the manipulation of these Varma or energetic points. Actually, the Varma therapy was taught as a secret science, as a Guru Parampara. There is no institution to train the people who wants to learn it. Apart from India, even Malaysia has recognized the traditional Siddha medicine and its Varma therapy as a complementary and alternative medicine. When the embryo is formed in the uterus, parts where the different organs are folding and meeting, those points are called Varma point. Shuli Mune Adangal, which is one of the therapeutic Varma point, which is located in this column Nalla. This part is now looks like a single point. Actually, it has the link with many other parts of the body. It is the junction of nose, left and right part of the upper lip. Different different colors are different different parts of the body during the embryogenesis. They all extend, grow, hold and combine or give the junction by binding each other. This area still has the link with the eyes, with the head, with the brain and with the cheek. By manipulating this point, Shulumune Adangal, we can cure a lot of diseases. So this is how every therapeutic Siddha Varma points link with the internal organs and other organs. Siddha literature explains 12 nadis or the energy meridian channels and 12 vachi energy. 12 different nadis have 12 different vasi names like abanan, pranan, sabanan or one one nadi is linked with one one internal organ and ends in an external orifice. Left nostril which is the external orifice linked with the idagalai. The right nostril is linked with the pingalai. Varma points are located along these channels. You can manipulate internal organs by manipulating these varma points by giving a feather touch, by giving a skin touch, by giving a cough pressure or one pressure that we call it as a matri. Pressure dependent effect you can produce in the same point. Based on the pressure we can generate lot of effect. That effect may be beneficial or may produce disease. Marma talks about damaging or dangerous aspect of the energy points whereas the Varma therapy or the Siddha Varma talks about the therapeutic usage of those Varma points. Apart from that there are many adangal points I mean energy stagnation points they are used as a therapeutic points. There are other techniques like Ilakumurai, Amartal Murai these are the techniques to manipulate these adangal points. Adhara chakras can be manipulated by Varma therapy. Yoga, Asana, Meditation, Chanting Mother or calorie or silampatam and bharatanatyam these are different way of self stimulation varmam pinnal murai is a highly you know therapeutic value any trauma happen to a human be it a skin uh, damage or muscle damage ligaments damage joint damage nerve injuries fracture dislocation these all actually fall under varmam therapy. If surgery is performed on the Varma points or the Marma point along the Nadi channel, there will be energy disruption. So that leads to a new disease. So it is called as a idiopathic disease. These kind of idiopathic diseases can be treated by Varma therapy. Even old trauma on a specific point can cause a disease after 10 years. May not be always orthopedic. It may be a metabolic disease, psychiatric disease, maybe a asthma can be diagnosed by Varma Nadi diagnosis and successfully 
usually treated by using siddha varman therapy the diseases related to physical mental and subtle bodies i mean related to kundalini energy channels all can be successfully treated by siddha varman therapy all the benefits of yoga pranayama and meditation can be given to the patient using siddha varman therapy even if the patient is non cooperative if the patient is a kid bedridden patients unconscious patients psychologically or mentally challenged people they don't cooperate to perform yoga or pranayama because both are working on the same siddha principles the physician's finger is sufficient to manipulate this varma points wood and sticks there are multiple seeds are used to manipulate different points and other natural instruments like uh, copper uh, coin or uh, coconut shell shell ring these are the other equipments we use to manipulate this varma point certain herbals are used to apply heat on the varma point certain metals are used to apply heat near the varma points and some hot stones are also used kombunjal is a special cupping procedure mentioned in siddha on the varma point the same varma points can be stimulated by oil application top of the vertex or top of the head there is a varma point uchi varma that varma can be stimulated by playing oil pura valayam or the sanagam is a process by which you can stagnate the oil on the specific varma points you can use dare on 2008 varma points the oil plus heat together along with the herbal bundles are used to manipulate the varma points so that the energy flow along with the varma channel will be normalized varma asana combination of asana and varma by which the patient will perform the yoga the physician will perform varma on the yoga performing patient you can meditate 1008 points in the body to give different benefit when you have different points you look at the first picture they first keep the dots on the different different distance after that they will connect each dots and they get a pulley column same way once you know the varma points in the body there are specific regimens for different diseases for example if the patient is having a migraine headache you want to stimulate 10 points in the head you will connect one by one like a rangoli that looks like a massage you are connecting the varma points it is called tadaval tadaval is a varma therapeutic massage sarvanga tadaval is a rejuvenation therapeutic massage by which you will connect all the varma points from head to toe chiropractic type which is called nettivangal to make the vasi energy to flow in the normal considering its importance and necessity manipal academy of higher education started the post graduate certificate course in siddha varma therapy who are health care providers like medicine mbbs bds siddha ayurveda naturopathy yunani homeopathy physiotherapy and other all pathies yoga therapy who were studied these therapies from the recognized universities can join this course as a post graduate vasiddha varman therapy syllabus was designed by experts from center for varma medicine and research kanyakumari the classes are taken by experienced siddha varman experts the varma manicure based practical sessions are there to identify every varma points we are giving hands on experience to locate more than 300 therapeutic varma points and their manipulation techniques the clinical postings in division of siddha center for integrative medicine and research at manipal is a very valuable is a great opportunity to practice the varma therapy in the patient so varma therapy protocols for many common conditions will be taught in the class after you complete the course you can successfully integrate the siddha varma therapy in your regular practice varma therapy treatment center you can establish varma therapy wellness centers you can start apart from that you can involve in teaching and research the admission is open for two type of courses post graduate certificate course in siddha varma therapy is a six month full time course the candidate has to stay in manipal another option for the practitioners is the post graduate certificate course in siddha varma therapy hybrid mode this course is very much useful for the private practitioners our faculty members our post graduate students it is a one year course weekly live online classes will be there there will be a compulsory two day in person practical classes will be there so the fees for this course is 60000 for indian nationals general category and 1600 usd for nris if you have any doubt regarding this course you can contact the director admission or dr arulamudan don't miss this great opportunity thank you